A question we got from a Forerunner 3D printing customer last year was how well our different finish options would hold up in an outdoor environment. This includes prolonged exposure to ultraviolet radiation, otherwise known as sunlight, rain, snow, hot, cold, and everything else nature could throw at it. We decided the best way to answer this question was to test it by putting the parts outside to sit in the elements for a year and then compare them with identical parts that had the same finishes that had been kept inside over the course of the same year. The images you see on screen are of the control group that spent their year sitting on a workbench in our shipping department. These parts were printed on one of our HP MJF machines in nylon 12 plastic. The first option tested was a part with white Cerakote applied to it. There is a link in the description where you can find out a lot more information about this incredible coating if you're not familiar with it. But suffice to say, Cerakote is a very strong and durable coating option for 3D printed parts, especially those coming off of an MJF machine. The second option was leaving one of the parts raw without any coating to see how an unfinished part taken directly out of post-processing after being bead blasted would weather. Option number three was black dye. This is our standard finish for all MJF parts we produce unless some Something else is requested by our customer, and it's done using G dye in a Gerbau DY130 machine. The final option is also Cerakote, but at the other end of the color spectrum with a black coating. This is by far the most common color of Cerakote we apply to customers' parts. This is a time lapse made up of screenshots that were taken each day the parts were out in the elements. The parts were bolted onto a makeshift table that was placed in the wild grass behind our shop. They were removed and photographed multiple times over the months they were out there, and that is why you see them change position from time to time. You may also be wondering why we left them out there for 15 months instead of 12. We wanted them to see two full summers to make sure they got plenty of UV exposure. As you can see from the time lapse, Michigan is not always the sunniest place outside of the summer months. First up, we have the white Cerakote finish option. You can see that the part on the right has a more yellowish color to it. This is especially noticeable in areas that were in direct sunlight. The areas under the arms were less yellowish due to them being more regularly shaded. We also think some of the yellowing is just from dust in the air getting on the surface of the part. Overall, the part still looks very presentable and the Cerakote held up great without any cracks or peeling. The raw gray part had very little change in its appearance. It looks to have gotten just a bit darker in color due to some of the gray powder being worn away and exposing more of the black core of the part, but it's almost imperceptible. Out of all the parts that were tested, the dye had the most radical change. Over the course of the 15 months it was outside, the weather had washed away pretty much all of the black dye. There were small remnant areas of it left under the arms and on the bottoms of the feet, but that was pretty much it. The part had returned to a raw gray color similar to what it had looked like before being dyed black. The black Cerakote had been bleached a few shades lighter than the part kept indoors as a control, but that was about it for changes. Like with the white colored Cerakote, there were not any chips, cracks, flaking, or peeling. Our final conclusion after reviewing the results of this test were that raw gray nylon 12 parts are very stable in color and appearance even when used outdoors. That parts finished with G-Dye are a great low cost option for an application that will see lots of handling and wear, but will not be exposed long term to the outdoors or weather. And that Cerakote still reigns supreme as an all around great choice for finishing 3D printed parts that need to be able to survive as end use products in the real world and still look great after a long time.